Hi, Art Nergard here from Shooting Sight. I'd like to give a quick demonstration and discussion of the new SCAR Armorer's tool that I've come out with. Uh, this tool is a collection of everything you need to take down and maintain and clean the SCAR rifle. Um, I've got here a SCAR 17 I'll demonstrate it on. We'll show clear. This tool replaces pretty much the collection of operators cleaning tool as well as the FN armors tool used to maintain this rifle. What is included in my tool is a T25 Torx wrench which will fit the barrel removal screws as well as the removal screws for the rail on the rifle. The next one in is a T15 Torx. It's not actually used for anything on this rifle, but a lot of scope rails use T15 Torx screws to hold the scope rails on. So if you've got a scope rail, that one is useful. Um, there are two Allen wrenches which fit various other hex screws on the rifle. The next tool in is a front sight adjustment tool. This one replaces the armorer's tool. FN came up with a round version. I came up with a flat version that will allow it to fold into the tool handle. The way this one is used is very simply the, the tool is inserted from above so that one of the two prongs of the tool depresses the detent that holds the front sight in place. Once the detent is pressed down, the front sight can be turned a quarter turn at a time. Uh, Next down there are two wire probes that are used to clean out the various gas ports. I'll show you those in a second. Finally there's a small screwdriver which is designed to fit the small screw in the top of the selector switch which is, needs to be removed in order to take down the trigger group. On the other side I've got four tools. I have a reamer that will clean out the gas cylinder system. I have a scraping tool for the gas plug and the gas piston. I have a quarter inch hex socket. This isn't used for anything on the rifle, but it allows you to take hex bits of various sorts so that you can add something to customize it to your rifle. If you need a Phillips head or a, or a special torque size or an Allen size, you can, you can do that. Uh, this next tool is a combination of a 7mm open-end wrench, which is used on the FN system to attach and remove the grenade launcher, for those of you who have one. Um, it also has a little wrench used to turn the gas valve in case it gets dirty and hung up. And then finally, there's an extra long hex wrench, which is long enough that it can reach up inside of the grip in order to access the Allen that holds the grip onto the rifle in case you want to remove your grip. So the way to disassemble the gas system on this rifle, first off the armorer's toolkit, you see there's a flat screwdriver blade here. This screwdriver blade is meant exclusively to depress the little detent here so that you can rotate the, the gas valve to break the gas system down. If the gas system is having difficulty in moving, the armor's key also has this little notch here so that you can use this wrench to help you turn the gas valve. On my system, I don't have a dedicated screwdriver blade. Instead, any one of these edges on the, in the toolkit is sharp enough that it will act as a sharp edge to, to depress the detent key. In order to clean the gas system, first, the operator's kit has got a rounded edge which goes inside of the gas valve. This not only contacts the bottom of the gas valve, but this straight edge here will scrape the edge of the, of the gas valve to get the inside of the gas valve clean. In my tool kit, I've got the, that same design to, to clean the inside of the, the gas valve. Next, you see a little semicircular cutout. In the original FN tool kit, that cutout is designed to fit around the gas valve and scrape along the bottom edge of it in order to remove any carbon deposits. Same thing in my toolkit. It fits around and it scrapes the bottom edge there. Next in my kit is a push pin to remove the, the gas piston. Uh, what you see here is a prototype. I don't have the, the final production one in time for this video. 
This is included in every kit. And to remove the gas piston, you basically take the rear end of, of this with those two uh, channels and you just engage those in the back of the upper. Let that slide down inside of the rails inside the upper and put in the bolt carrier assembly behind it. When, when the bolt carrier slides forward, it drives the piston right out the front of the, of the cylinder. After the piston is removed, you see there's a little semicircular cutout in the operator's toolkit. This is intended to go around the head of the piston so you can rotate the piston in to clean it. It'll work around the bottom of the piston. And then finally there's a hole with an edge on it which is meant to scrape along the piston shaft. Similarly in my toolkit, I have the semicircular cutout which fits around the head of the, of the piston, around the base of the piston. I have the scraping hole. Next, the FN toolkit has got what looks like a three diameter drill which fits down inside of the bore of the cylinder and rotates in order to scrape out any carbon that's in there. In my toolkit, I have a three-stepped plate with, with sharp edges, which similarly can rotate around to clean out the bore. The two gas port cleaners, the larger of the two, can clean out some of the, the uh, gas holes in the valve. There are two smaller gas ports on the side of the valve, which can be cleaned out with the, with the smaller of the pins. The larger pin can also be used to get down in the top of the gas block and clean right down into the, into the barrel. And the pin can push debris out of there. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative. This new SCAR Armorer's Multi-Tool, as well as my SCAR two-stage adjustable trigger, are available for sale on my website, shootingsite.com. Further information is also available on my Facebook page and on my Instagram page. I'm Art Nergard from Shooting Site.